Hello everyone and welcome to another NCD Node Red tutorial covering the MCP23008 product line. Today I've got a four channel relay controller. It also has four inputs. I have it connected using one of our USB to I2C adapters plugged into the IoT interface socket. Um, if you have not seen this board before, I highly encourage that you go and watch our introduction to the MCP23008 tutorial. It will be on the main article page on our site. There will be a link to that main article in the description below if you're on YouTube or over to the uh, right of this video if you're on our site. That will uh, take you there to the main article and you can view all the video tutorials on the MCP23008 product. So to get started, I have not actually done anything with inputs on the MCP23008 in any of these tutorial videos, so today I want to address that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag out one of our NCD MCP23008 nodes. If you've not seen this before, once again I highly encourage you to go check out that introduction video tutorial. So we'll go ahead and set this thing up. This is all covered in that introduction. I'm going to select my serial port since I'm connected over USB here. We need to set our interval to something conservative like 100 milliseconds. Check these two, and we need to make sure that the last four channels on this board are set as inputs. There we go. So I've got the board all set up and ready to go here. So what I want to do to start with is I want to push a button and just have that turn on Relay 1. So if I push button 1, it turns on Relay 1. After I release button 1, it turns off Relay 1. Start simple. Work our way up from there. So let's grab a change node from the palette. And this is a, this is a node that comes built in with Node Red. This is a stock functionality here. So what we're doing is we're coming out of GPIO 5 here. And that is the first uh, screw terminal on this four channel board. So what happens is since I have them all set to inputs, they're all pulled up. So if I push the button, it's going to close the input and send out a one out this, out this port. If I release the button, it's gonna send out a zero. So if you think about it, we can just reroute that back into the board, send that to channel one to control the relay and that's going to turn the relay on and off. So pretty simple. So let's jump into this change node. And what we're going to do is we're going to select change here. And all we want to do is we want to change the message topic, not the payload, but the topic. In this case, what we're going to have coming out is going to be channel underscore five. So if we want to redirect that to channel 1 to control the relay, all we need to do is replace that with channel underscore 1. Done. Now we're just going to take that and tie it right back out into the input of the node here. And we'll deploy that and give it a quick test here. And there we go. We see that we've got the relay clicking on and off just like we expect. I push down on the button turns on, I release the button, the relay turns off. So that's simple enough. Uh, let's do something a little more complicated. So let's not go directly back in here. Let's, well, on second thought, uh, let's leave that. But after this turns on, let's drag in another change node. Let's do a timer here. So we're going to drag in a change node here. And this time we're going to be monitoring the output of Relay 1. So we're going to drag right here. And let's change the payload. If it's the number 1, let's change it to the number 0. And then let's hit a delay. We'll set that to, uh, let's say, 250 milliseconds. Okay, so we're going to come back here into the input of the delay, and then out of the delay, we're going to come right back here. So what's going to happen is we're going to push the button, 
that's going to trigger our uh, or change here on the input which is going to send a 1 to the relay. The relay is going to turn on and whenever that happens it's going to output its status here as 1 which is going to hit the input of this change node which is going to change that 1 to a 0. Come back here, wait 250 milliseconds and then come back in sending in a 0 for channel 1 which is going to turn the relay back off. So basically what we just did was we just created a little momentary timer. So let's go ahead and deploy that and see how it looks. I'm going to push down on the button, hold it, and you'll see the button or the relay turns off on its own. So you could set that, you know, for 10, 15 minutes, uh, whatever in particular works for your application. But this is just another demonstration of how simple you can do some pretty complex things with Node Red and not writing a single stitch of code. You can do some really cool automation stuff right out of the box. So this has been another Node Red tutorial using NCD products, this time specifically on the MCP23008. If you're interested in any products that we offer, please check out our online store at store.ncd.io. Thanks and have fun.